True Crime, Arizona tonight in a conviction in a four-year-old murder case in Phoenix. 32-year-old Jamal Jones was convicted this week of second-degree murder of his then teenage girlfriend who went missing back in 2019. Our Brianna Whitney is looking at how rare it is to get homicide convictions without a body and what may have played the biggest part to finding him guilty. This vanished in August of 2019 and has never been seen again. Best evidence is either close to the body or the body itself. Retired Phoenix cold case detective Troy Hillman says lack of a body is the most challenging uphill battle prosecutors could face. But it didn't phase a jury this week who found now 32 year old Jamal Jones guilty of second degree murder of Luzea and of abandoning and concealing body parts. So how did the prosecution get a conviction? You have to turn to what was found in this investigation, other direct evidence. A strong odor coming from Luzea's apartment, a large amount of blood found inside too, with cleaning products in sight, and men's clothing with blood on it too. Hillman says from that evidence alone, one can deduce. It was not likely that she survived these injuries. But that's not all the jury had to go off of. There was strong circumstantial evidence, too. According to police paperwork, Jones served prison time previously and had a history of violent assaults. After one of several times he was charged following a domestic violence incident with Luzea, he texted her, Bet I'll kill you once I beat this case with you. At the time, investigators were able to get a tracking warrant for Jones's phone and also tracked other phones in his circle of acquaintances, going to his sister's house out on the Gila River Indian Reservation and even texting Luzea's phone. Cell phone records were phenomenal um, to kind of uh, really paint a picture of what this suspect did. What's still missing is Luzea herself. Her family recently telling me they're still doing everything they can to find her remains. If you have a tip about Luzea Mathis's case and where her remains may be located, please call the Phoenix Police Department. As of now, Jamal Jones's sentencing is scheduled for late November. Reporting in the newsroom tonight, Brianna Whitney for Arizona's Family.